Unveiling the meaning, remains returned. Hello and welcome, language enthusiasts. Today, we're going to unravel the meaning behind the phrase, remains returned. This phrase might appear simple but carries deep meaning and is often used in very specific contexts. Understanding it will not only enhance your vocabulary but also your comprehension of certain cultural and formal situations. Let's dive in. The phrase, remains returned, is made up of two important words, remains, and returned. Remains, often refers to the body of a deceased person, especially after the body has been prepared for burial or cremation. Returned, signifies the act of bringing something back to its original place or to a specific location. When combined, the phrase typically relates to the process of bringing the remains of a deceased person back to their place of origin or a significant location. The phrase, remains returned, is commonly used in solemn and respectful contexts. It's important to understand the sensitivity surrounding this phrase. Here's how it might be used. 1. Military context. When soldiers lose their lives overseas, their remains are returned to their homeland for a proper and respectful burial. 2. Archaeological or historical context. Sometimes, Ancient human remains or artifacts are returned to their country of origin after being studied or displayed in museums. 3. In news reports. You might hear this phrase in news reports or read it in articles when discussing the repatriation of individuals who have passed away in foreign lands. Understanding the phrase, remains returned, also involves appreciating its cultural and emotional weight. It's a phrase that symbolizes respect and dignity towards the deceased, reflects a desire to honor someone's life and legacy, can evoke strong emotional responses, especially in the context of a nation welcoming back its lost soldiers or citizens. In closing, the phrase, remains returned, is more than just a combination of words. It's a respectful expression related to honoring the deceased, often used in formal, military, or historical contexts. We hope this video has shed light on its meaning and usage, enriching your understanding of this poignant phrase. Until next time, keep learning and exploring the depths of the English language.